Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everybody's well. All right, we're doing. Let's see, Cancer, you up? This reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside Table Table. Everybody is always welcome at my table. And I appreciate y'all stopping by to come say hi to little old me. The lonely, crazy tarot lady. While you're here, if you think we might get along, you can hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can know when I upload because it's far more frequent than it's been the last few months. Finally starting to feel a little bit better. Yeah, for those of you who've been hanging around for a while, um, I was pretty sick there for a long time, but I'm coming out of it. So, blessings. Huge blessings. Anywho, a couple things we got to go over. Before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you, Cancer. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And by life-altering, I mean if it's going to completely jack up your universe and destroy everything you've worked for, I would not take the advice of a deck of cards. I'm just saying. Mine or anybody else's. But you do you. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I'm just playing cards. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it is not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, it is not making sense in your life, leave the damn cards on the table and walk away. It's that simple. It's not going to be your message every time. If you're in a department store, you're not going to buy a pair of shoes that doesn't go with anything you own and doesn't fit you and take them home, now are you? No, you're not. Because why would you? It'd be silly. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again tonight. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I have been given, and I ask that you give me the clarity to accurately bring Cancer to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Cancer, why are you here? King of Pentacles. Damn! Mm -hmm. This is this is this is the daddy Mac daddy. Okay, this this is the ultimate catch. This is you know <sighs> he's got a good head on his shoulders. Relatively good looking. He's worked his ass off. He's probably pretty good at what he does. He could be dealing with an Earth sign, so Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, or someone with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. So you can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. You're set. You're good. You are, you, you're the mofo. You're the catch. All right? You're the catch. You're doing well. You're doing well, Cancer. It's amazing. All right, well, what happened? If you're doing so well, why the hell are you here? The star? In the past, you probably spent some time with your higher power, did some healing. The star usually comes in after life-changing events, catastrophes. It's a card of healing. It's a card of wishes being fulfilled. Probably did some serious manifesting, praying, whatever you want to call it. What's going on in the here and now? Six of Swords. I... You're in the process of returning to something. By the looks of things, you're going back to whatever brought the healing in or whatever made the healing necessary, if I'm reading this correctly. <sighs> Judgment-free zone. It's not my life, not my journey. Immediate future, four of cups.
that's that's something new by the way that's the universe if I'm reading this correctly we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say that could well be the universe trying to hand you something new you're staring up at it you can see it but you're surrounded by cups You're surrounded by could is what is and should is in the immediate future. Three cups reversed as an outcome. That's a disconnect. That could well be you deciding you don't want to hang with somebody anymore. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. All right. First card out was Earth, so we're going to go with the Tarot Illuminati to get the energies of the person or situation you're dealing with. All right. Universe Source, Spirit Guides, can I get the energy of the person or situation the Cancer is dealing with in September 2021? One more good shuffle. Princess of Cups. Hmm. Communication of love. Hmm. Oof. Five of Pentacles reversed. Somebody wanting to come in out of the cold. Immediate future, the tower. The tower. <laughs> That's a game changer. And it, it kind of looks like an act of the universe, too. <laughs> you, are, are you seeing that? Are you seeing it? That's the finger of God. You know, if, if you want to call him God. God, source, whatever you choose to call it. Sometimes when we go back and re rebuild towers that have fallen, and if a star popped up, a tower has already fallen. By the way. 16. 17. If we rebuild a tower where there wasn't supposed to be a tower and the universe says that tower wasn't supposed to be there, I moved it out of your life for a reason. What do you think the universe is going to do? Just saying. Divine intervention. I'm feeling like divine intervention is happening in the immediate future for you, Cancer. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Do you understand the difference between those two terms? To you, for you. Three of Wands reverse. I got two threes on my table. Third party intervention. You know, you know, my ex-husband and I were just having this conversation today. Just, just a little while ago, actually, because he's, you know, former domestic partner. He's in the process of moving out. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the universe is the third party in a situation. Don't think that it's not. No one is... The tower spares no one. The tower spares no one. You can hold it up as long as you want. You can rebuild it as many times as you want. If it's not supposed to fucking be there, the universe will take it out. I'm just throwing that out. All right. Can I get some clarity? 
Not that I think I need it, but I'm going to get some clarity on the cards on the table for cancer and the person or situation they're dealing with. What's my time? Ten minutes? Hierophant reversed. I didn't even ask a question. This is the breakdown of a blessed union. This is, you know, in, in the upright, he's the marriage guy, and in, in, in the reverse, he's the, he's the divorce guy. This is a separation. I'm going to put it back, see if it comes back out. Didn't even ask a question. Temperance. Temperance. It's calling for patience. Possibly divine timing. This could be the universe saying that you need to clear some old negative energies out and bring in some positive vibrations. Okay. No more card salads. Can I ask a question, please? Why is... Why the star... One card, please. Why the star? Okay, give me two. King of Cups reversed. Hermit reversed. Could have been one. Could have been a fellow water sign person. Could have been a Virgo. I think the healing has something to do with an emotional closing off. Possibly someone totally ghosting out, going hermit mode, MIA. Game changers. I'm not going to get too far into that. Somebody made an exit. Why the Princess of Cups? King of Swords. There's another son of a gun that doesn't exactly wear his heart out on his sleeve. He actually protects it with that mighty sword that he carries. I think someone made an extremely guarded offer in the past. Possibly after a, a ghost out or an emotional closing off or... <laughs> As, you know, some radio silence, period of MIA, you know what I'm saying? Could be. All right, why the Six of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you do got it going on. Probably single at this point. Independent. You're good on your own. Why return? One more. If you're good on your own and you're independent, why return to it? Why revisit it? Why even look back at it? Hanged man, because you're still a little bit emotionally hung up. You've accepted the you've accepted the situation, but you're still a little emotionally hung up. A little bit. Good possibility. Good possibility. It still still tugs on your heartstrings a little bit. The, the what ifs. I think that's why you're returning to it. Five of Pentacles reversed on their side. Why the Five of Pentacles reversed? They miss you. They want to come out of the cold with you. Maybe they want to bring you in out of the cold. Page of Pentacles! That's the apology. They miss you. They want to make this five into a six. Equal give and take. Level the playing field. Small. 
small offer, a very guarded small offer. Let's take our time. Let's do this right. I think the universe is saying no. Because the universe is trying to hand you a cup, not a pentacle. Why the four cups? Why the four cups? Why the four cups? Why the four cups? Ace of Swords. It's a new start, and possibly with an air sign. New thoughts, new actions. One more. New communications with new people, possibly. New, 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 new. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. Dead stop, if you will. Things are about to go stagnant. Why the tower? Why the tower? Ten of Wands. There's a burden that needs to be released. There's a cycle that needs to close out. Cycle of passion. Cycle of action. It's a wand. Take it however it resonates. Wands can represent a lot of things. High Priestess reversed. Could be secrets coming to light. The High Priestess can speak of secrets. In the reverse, she can also speak of egotistical energy. Someone not listening to the universe or listening to their intuition about a situation. Queen of Cups, they care. They care about you. There is deep love here, but something's got to give. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Universe is bringing in a tower, y'all. The universe has something new for you. I think the universe might have something new for them. Yes, there's love here, but there's a game changer. Can I get a binder? One binder. Five of swords reversed. Things happening in the shadows. Things happening behind closed doors. Well, shoot. Secrets being revealed about things happening behind closed doors. A freshly built tower falling to the ground. Hmm. Why the three cups reversed? Maybe more than one third party intervention here. Page of Cups. Four of Swords. Six of Wands reversed. Lack of victory, lack of forward movement, laying something to rest. Taking the cup. There's the cup. There's the cup. Cancer. There's the three spilt cups. 
I think you're going to decide you don't want to hang with this person anymore. I think you're going to lay this to rest. I think you're going to call it a day and take the cup that the universe is trying to hand you. Why the three of wands are reversed for the other side. Why the three of wands are reversed for the other side. Three of swords are reversed. Just trying to come out of a state of heartbreak. Another three. Another three. Knight of Wands reversed. Things going stagnant. Things not moving forward. But somebody's no longer waiting at the dock. Nine of Wands. Why the Nine of Wands? Last card. Last card. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. I'm going to look at them, but I'm not going to take them. Nah. No. Oh, well, maybe I'll bring it up. I'll mention it, but I'm not going to lay them on the table. Knight of Swords upright, two of Pentacles reversed. Someone not accepting the change. Someone not being accepting. They're probably still going to keep an eye on you. Probably. I'm saying highly, highly likely. Six of Cups. Judgment. Five of Swords reversed came back out. Oh, wow, that's funny. That's funny. Before I address these, I will address this. This person is going to be left with a very salty attitude, probably having some self-worth issues at the end of the day because they couldn't rebuild this tower. There's crap going on behind closed doors. Shady shit. Leave the tower on the ground. Don't try to rebuild it. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups reversed. You're showing up as the King of Pentacles. Don't let the fact, or, you know, you probably shouldn't say fact, but don't, don't let it bother you so much that they couldn't measure up and they left a bad taste in your mouth. You weren't meant to be together. You were a mismatched pair. Don't let it bother you. Judgment. Prince of Cups. Hermit reversed. Chariot. There you are. Temperance reversed. Five of Swords reversed again. Let's run through this. Stick to your guns. Drive your chariots. Do not let the negative energy of the past, things going on behind closed doors, don't let it continue to haunt you and keep you in this reverse hermit mode where you're not wanting to do anything with anyone ever again where you, you stay afraid of commitment don't don't do that don't the universe has a cup for you but the universe has also made a judgment call that this was not your cup i know you tried and you tried and you tried again but the universe has made a judgment call don't let the happy memories and nostalgia Keep you from ending a painful cycle. Don't postpone the painful ending. Be patient with the universe. Don't try to rush into building foundations and shaky ass towers. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Cancer. I love you guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful September. Whew, gosh, that was rough. I'll be back in a couple of weeks at the latest, probably for your bonus round reading. And also definitely going to be here 
um, probably Saturday night, Sunday night for the um, weekly top and bottom of the deck. It depends on when I can squeeze into my schedule actually sitting down to be able to get it done. Um, I'm having a wonky schedule this week. I'm actually on vacation for the next three days, but that's because we're finishing the house this week. But all September reads will be done by the end of the day on the 31st. That is the goal, and we are making that goal happen. I'm going to stop rambling and cut this out. I love you. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.